Hello everyone. We're going to bring the device here. Last week, uh, I think it was mm, 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 Wanda, I think I'm, if I remember correctly, she said, oh, how it was fun when we were on Create on the Fly and you all picked the color. Well, I said, why not? Because I never know what I'm going to do. So uh, I choose a bundle though it's and I'm trying to use all stamp that never saw the ink so I did something with this just this afternoon and I'm going to repeat that with your colors and I'm going to share you my colors after we're done but I'm not sharing till that I didn't even want to share the bundle though because I wanted to see the color you guys cannot even see it and that is good so what you're going to do it's um uh, name me one color one of your favorite color and i'm gonna go from there um i'm gonna need like three colors I'm trying to see the comments here okay um i'm gonna need uh three colors so just name one and then uh I'm going to go uh, with that. If I see two colors that I think go good together, absolutely, I'm going to use those two. If not, I'm looking for the first color. We're going to start with that one. Um, I need my die cut machine, though, tonight. So let me roll this here. And we're going to use the die cut machine. Balmy, okay, I see gorgeous gray. Okay, go gorgeous gray green and balmy blue i'm picking those three colors that's it so balmy blue gorgeous gray and green so the green i'm gonna go with uh, pure possess so that is the first three color that pop in the common i'm gonna double check i don't want to skip no one Gorgeous grape, green, balmy blue. Okay, so I know some of you name different color, but I need three color, so I'm picking the first three, and that's what we're going to work with tonight. So uh, I think it's going to be fun, fun. I'm going to move my card aside. I almost got caught there, and um, so let me flip you down. Okay. Here we go. So this is the color choice for tonight. Um, I get a glare. Let me move. Okay, let me type this light here. Here we go. So that's going to be better now. Okay, I need a scrappy paper. I got close out and sale here. That's a scrappy paper. And I decide to uh, choose, uh, this is the shimmer white. Okay, we're going to use shimmer white. First thing we want to do with shimmer white, um, and we want to uh, cut with our dies. So I'm going to bring this die here. We need a pot, and the pot's going to be a balmy blue, and then we're going to need some of them. We're going to need this. Okay, so we're going to cut everything first, so then we don't have to stop and cut again. So let me move this aside. Um, I'm going to use, um, we're doing two cards, by the way, not just one, but two cards, okay? I'm going to okay, do this and one with this. Oh, that thinks would be pretty too. You know what? Okay, we're going to do the tanks and then what this say? Kind people are my kind of people. Oh, how fun is that? Okay, that's what we're using for the greeting. So we're going to stamp the greeting because that I need to stamp before we die cut. I got, mm, I don't think that scrappy paper going to work here. Let me look for a scrappy paper here. Okay, that was a frame, but I always forget about them anyway. So let's do, um, 
out of the blue here we're going to do one in gorgeous grapes that was one of the color of the choice and we're going to smack that right here oh i got a pookie there here we go and then we're going to go ahead and do the tanks in balmy blue. So it's two for one. So what that mean? Do you guys know? That means we're going to have two winners. Two for one tonight. How about that? And let's do the tanks. Oh, I want it in balmy blue. So we're going to do in the balmy blue. Here we go. So if you guys are new to um, Frenchie Create on the fly, I'm the crazy one that, mm, it's not too dark though. Okay, let's go with the purple. I want the, the greeting to stand out. I'm the crazy one that don't have nothing planned. I just go with the flow. Tonight, I let you guys pick the color, but I decided to do a cards because I wanted to play with this bundle. So I'm going to do about the same layout. So it's cheating a little bit tonight, put it that way. But I mean, I just flop it, those color there. Who knows if it's going to look good, but I think it will. I really think these colors going to, I think you guys did lovely. So let's bring the die cut. Okay, I've got a few uh, tips here. So, first thing, let's do our greeting first. Okay, I don't want to move the camera because it's just a little bit on the, the cut. I didn't need this one. Okay, it's going to go here. Okay, let's do um, this going to go there. And let's do one at a time. I think it's going to be easier. Now I'm looking. What? Okay. I know we don't have uh, terracotta, but I think terracotta, even with those color, we're going to do the pot in terracotta. Okay. So I'm cutting this here. Why am I so small there? Something, something happened. What, what, what happened? One minute. Oh, am I still live? Yes. Oh, well, something screwy happened. Okay, let's hope it's still live there. It's not working on the other end, so we'll see. If I'm off, you guys are going to have to tell me. Look fine here. Okay, uh, I lost completely a screen there, so I don't know where it went. I really don't know where it went. Here we go. Now you can see that, I think. Here we go. Now we're going to roll this through. Here we go. And, um, okay, that's the greeting. We need some green. And let me gather some green. And then a terracotta for the pot. So, terracotta. And I'm going to use... Uh, Pierre Pizzazz, where are you? Here you are. Okay, so I got Pierre Pizzazz. We're going to do two in this one. Well, here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, and it's another piece in that that would look good in that pot. Let me check that out. 
here we go. Okay, now let me bring the other piece. That go there, there. It's those little um, long thing. Don't whoops, whoops, whoops. Those ones gonna be in oh olive. A little bit darker in the back. And we're just gonna do one of them. Well, maybe I want two. Here we go. Place for two. Use those scraps, right? Here we go. So now we get two. Okay, done with that. We're going to cut the pot that's in terracotta color for a terracotta pot. Imagine that. Another uh, color that would work great with that would be Cajun craze. That would be very lovely. Okay, we're going to put that there. Now, the next piece here that, okay, it's on shimmer paper. So, because it's such a big piece, you don't want to put it straight. It make what I call the speed bump. So, when you get a big rectangle or square, put it diagonal a bit. It don't have to be a big diagonal, just a little bit. And that's going to change the way that it's going to run in the machine. So you can see I got that diagonal right here. See that? I got that diagonal. I'm going to put that at the top. Make sure my plate is straight. We're going to roll that. And because it's, it's so detailed, i just going to roll back and forth, okay? Okay, now I can remove this. Here we go. Let me move that. And now I got my brush. <clears throat> I like to keep it on the die. And when I did it earlier, I was very impressed. When we starting having detail dye, my personal opinion, I think it was a nightmare. <laughs> and uh, I kind of walk away from them because I thought, this is crazy. Well, let me tell you, those new dyes now, they work like a charm. I mean, boom, it's done. See, we get what? a few little tiny plays there to um, work that's it so i get my little poker here when i say a few it's very few that i'm gonna have to um, push out so the dies are big improvement that compared to uh, i'm gonna say five years ago uh, when we start having um, detailed dies I was not, because I don't have patience. I want to get the thing done. But now it's like, boom. See, all those details we get in here. If I would just use this here, I would have used the adhesive sheet. But because what I'm planning on doing tonight, I didn't use the adhesive sheet, okay? I still could have and used my mat, but I didn't. Okay, let me move all this mess so we got a place to work. Okay, in the description, I put the bundle, the Simply uh, uh, Succulent Bundle. I should have put uh, our new brush because I'm going to use the blending brush. I didn't think about that, but we are using the blending brush tonight. So this is uh, the die. So you get the flowers, the pot, more flowers, greeting, and so on. And then you get more dies than stamp sets. See all the frames? We use a few tonight. And this here. Yes, we're using wax paper and so on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm bringing a scrappy paper here. 
I get one of this and I get another one of this. Okay, so I said we we're making two for one. So um, I am using uh, another. So both of them are in um, shimmery white. Okay, so it is four and a quarter by five and a half, exactly a quarter sheet. Just to make sure that I am not moving because I want to keep my pattern because we're doing two for one. Yeah, you still use wax paper. With the new dies, I don't find the need to use the wax paper anymore. So what I'm doing, I'm just putting a tin bit. Do you know what the Timbit is? Is you, If you're from Canada, you're thinking of Tim Horton, right? Um, Timbit, it's a little bit of peace, okay? Back in Canada, I'm sure we got Canadian here because I always get some Canadian on. Um, Tim Horton, it's like a Dunkin' uh, Donuts, but they get those little round things. You get them at uh, Dunkin's Donuts too, but we call that the Timbits in Canada. So, and now I'm going to put one on the bottom layer there, just a little bit. Here we go. So now I got the top layer and the bottom layer in secure place. Um, we're going to use, okay, blue. And this is going to be green. And I got kind of a purple. So we're in good shape. So if you recall when I shared those brush, I was using um, the clear mat from like uh, the backing of um, what the designer series paper come in. For this one here, I don't need that. I'm going to start with the darkest kind of color and this is going to be the gorgeous grapes, okay? So um, I like to use my uh, blending brush me with my two finger on the side. And these, um, I know people going to say, I find some at the dollar store. Uh, this is day and night. I get some because people told me about it. And they went on file 13, if you know what that is. It's some on the, the market out there on Amazon or other crap uh, uh, place that they are soft too. But if you try that with the one that maybe that you pay uh, one to two, three dollars, they're not as soft. This still may be going to do the job for you, okay? But these are super, super soft, super soft. Now I'm going to just tap it a little bit, go on this first because I don't want that big chunk, and just go circle way here and there. Just random place, okay? And then we're going to go with um, the blue. Blue is the lightest color, though. So I'm going to go with the Pierre Pizzazz. Okay, let's not mix them yet. This. And then I'm going to open my blue. And if you are just joining, just to let you know, I didn't pick the color. I went as people that join us, and I asked them to name me their uh, favorite color. And I picked the first three colors that pop up on my screen. So um, it's nobody choose the combo, okay? I just pick the first three color that pop on the screen so uh, we're going to see how that turn out but to be honest i think it's going to be super super lovely super so and the green they say green and i pick pierre pizzazz and now um i feel my pierre pizzazz it's not dark enough so i'm switching that to all olive nothing wrong with that right so I'm switching with Pierre Pizzazz. So then I won't have to put so much. Here we go. Now we're talking. And I am not following the flower. If you think I'm following the pattern of the flower, I am not. I'm just modge podge the color here and there. 
Now I'm going to go with the blue. I didn't see them. Somebody said it was more color uh, above. I'm sorry, I didn't see them. That's the first three that I saw. I saw uh, gorgeous gray, uh, balmy blue, and then green. Here we go. We're going to put a little bit more blue here. See the blue? going to turn very pretty with this. Now I'm going to come back and add more of that purple though. Purple, it's gorgeous grapes. If you're wondering, it is gorgeous grapes. That's going to be striking. Striking, striking. I can see it right now. Oh, yes. That blue really fit well with that. Who would have thought, right? Okay, what do you think so far? Let me um, see. Is that pretty? Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of darkness on the edge. Make sure I get nice edge. Because I'm using the full thing when we're going to make the card, okay? There, I went a bit too much there, so I'm going to try to blend more. Here we go. You just want to keep on blending if you get some, like a pookie, whatever. <laughs> Here we go. I think that's going to be it. I think that is plenty of color. Now, um, I was saying that I don't wash my brush. I just uh, wipe them. Somebody said you can um, rub them on your chamois. Well, I tried that and it worked wonderful. So let me share that. First now, because we are done with that, we're going to take our tape and you're going to see a big white spot there. So we're going to have to fix the white spot there. The one at the bottom, that's nothing because it's not, you know, we want the border around. So I'm not, I don't have to worry about this. This turned out very gorgeous. Can you see that? That turned out beautiful, beautiful. So, <clears throat> okay, let's. Uh, do the top here so I had a bit of blue here let me open back my blue here it's blue and green at that end so you just and the reason why I put that it's because I don't want my um, my top layer to move because if it move then I won't have the good design in the back right Okay, let's add some green here. Here we go. It's going to have maybe a little line. I'm going to take care of it. One minute. Use more of the purple there. So that's the only thing. And you could do it without the tape there. But like I said, for me, I really wanted the tape so it's not moving. Here we go. Now it's good. Okay, so now what to do with the brush? So every time I use those brush, somebody asks me, do you get some for every color? Absolutely not. I do not. I try to keep like purple with the purples, blue with blues. And when I'm done, I used to do just wipe it on this. And then I take a soft towel and then wipe it on my soft towel. Well, somebody said, you can wash it under the water. Absolutely. Well, then you would have to wait to dry. Because this is a bunch of bazillion, a bazillion of fiber, right? So it would take a while to dry. Somebody said, you can do it right on your um, chamois. So I tried that and I was surprised to 
see what happens see and then wipe it on your towel and I'm going to bring another white piece so you can see uh, See, now it's absolutely nothing on it. So I've been doing that. I don't know who shared that tip with me, but I thought it was marvelous. See, I get a little bit of coloration there. You can even see. So I just wipe this on my chamois. And then this is going to be very uh, weird color here. See? And then no more. So that, and I keep on using them, even if it's a bit of color on it, I don't take the time to, um, to wipe that or to clean uh, them. The green, for some reason, just wipe like a charm. See that? And then, um, I see Norwex. Yes, I love to have a very soft towel, and I absolutely love the Norwex uh, those are the little travel pack. Love them. So, that is another little tip that, like I said, I should uh, remember who shared this tip with me because I think it worked wonderful, wonderful. So, um, perfect. Okay, now we're going to get um, Whisper White. And I want the tick Whisper White. Let me find a piece. And that I could have uh, cut that in advance, but I didn't. This is not that. I mix them. Mm -mm. Don't like that when I do that. Here we go. I said whisper white. Now it's basic white. So we're going to score that at a five and a half because we're going to do two cards. And then we're going to cut that at four and a quarter. Et voila. And okay. I am not trimming this. We're going to glue that direct on it. See? Boom, boom. And this one, we're going to use a ribbon. And which ribbon are going to use? You know what? This is a pool party. I think so. Yeah, but because of the blue there, it's going to go perfect with that. And it's such a soft ribbon. Um, it's the sheer ribbon. I think I'm going to do a bow. So let me... Usually I would do a faux bow. But I think this is going to be lovely with a, a true bow. And I want, oh, let's, no, the other way. Here we go. Let's do our bow to the left, and we're going to put our greeting to the right. So here, watch this here. Many people say that are challenged with bow. And so you're going to go up and down. So you want your bow to go this way. Any way that you want your bow, you're going to tie the knot, the first loop around the other way. I want my bow to go this way, so I tie up and down like this. And then I'm going to fold this at the bottom. So you do a loop at the bottom. The one at the top, the top go to the right, go under to the left right here. And then you're going to tie your bow. And then you're going to just 
pull it the size that you want. My ribbon twist there, we're going to twist it back. Et voila. So I think this ribbon is going to be very pretty with that. I want to switch it a little bit there. Never mind the tail. I cut too long. I um uh, 90% of the time I cut too long. I rather have too long than too short. If you cut your ribbon too short, you're going to maybe say some words that you don't want to say cuz it's um it's not um you, you don't have the place to uh, do the motion. Okay, now we're going to take this. We're going to put glue in the back of this. Oh, I just started a new one here. I don't know if you guys uh, think I drink the glue in the back uh, when nobody's watching me, but it seems I always get a empty one, right? I use I do a lot of cards, so I use a lot of glue. Now, because it's the same size than the car front, I like to put it flush down at the bottom. Push, push each side. Then now my bow is loose a little bit, but don't sweat the small stuff. You're gonna take a glue dot. 90% of my bow got a glue dot under. I go under and tuck that there. I always say, I wish I could do that with some part of my body. Put glue dot there, tuck it under, behind it, ear on. Is that pretty? That is gorgeous in my book. Okay, now we got, um, we're going to do the little tanks here. And we're going to put that right there. But you know what? I'm going to bring some uh, sponge and we're going to sponge around to make that pop. So I'm going to take this. Just there. Okay, the trick to sponging. This is not a baby bottom, so you really want to put the pressure on it and hold that tight. A lot of it, I was watching somebody and was telling me they had a tough time with the sponging. They were holding this very soft and just, and then go from inside. You want to go on the side, not from the top, because then you're going to get all this. So you just go on the side and see, I got the put my finger in the back so it hold it straight so I can put plenty of pressure there. Here we go. I'm going to use dimensional. Yeah, don't you think we would sell a lot, Shelly, uh, uh, Sherry, if that glue dot would work on the body? You know what? Maybe I should try that one day. It would be a good way to sell more product, right? <laughs> oh. I got a uh, little fuzz from the, okay, this is plain but gorgeous, I say. Then we're going to finish the inside both at the same time. Now, like I said, if I wouldn't have sponge on that, I would have used the, uh, what should we call it? Let me think, let me think, adhesive sheet. But I didn't use the adhesive sheet because I wanted sponge and when you pull all the little bits and pieces a lot of time it pull the big sheet so with that being said you're gonna this is our front this is the back you're gonna take your back and I keep mine in one of those dauber case a dauber uh, whatever take a little sandwich bag whatever and I just keep this in there I put a big uh, pincher uh, clip there, and then I use Tombow glue. And you need the silicone mat or wax paper or something. Going to put my two finger there because you don't want it to move. Because if it moves, you know what's going to happen, right? And 
and then what's going to happen to your um, your silicone mat you just rinse it under hot water you can even use a little bit of soap it's all fine okay now don't touch the one second let me put that away so we don't have a fiasco here I'm just going to put where it's a bigger border here. I'm just going to put a little bit around the border. Okay, now this, okay, let me put that in place. I won't sit on it because it won't be just a glue dot on me. Now we're going to take this again, like to put that straight up, put this down each side okay i'm going to take another silicone mat that i get clean here just in case if some of the glue are oozing and then i get 30 ants here we go so go from the back to press that Oh, see, I think my button scratched there. Dang it, I thought I was doing so good. Because one of you going to get that card, you know? A little bit of love on it. That's it, my friend. Now let's lift this up. Voila. Is that gorgeous? So see this and this. But this one, we're going to crank it up a notch. Let's crank it up a notch. And then... Um, we're going to do the pot first. And I'm going to take uh, my terracotta, the dark one. And I'm going to go just do like kind of some shadow in the bottom here. Okay, now I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use, um, is that terracotta? Yeah, I got terracotta. We're going to uh, use the writing tip. We the, I dropped the pot on the floor, okay? So most terracotta pot that belong outside here, they're cracked. I don't even have to drop them, I think. We're going to crackle them. Here we go. So now that's not good enough though. I'm going to take my aqua painter and that you won't see the difference on the camera, but if you try it in real life, you're going to see it. I'm wetting all this here. Now I'm going to take, while it's still wet, I'm going to take the early espresso or a darker color. That was just to guide me. And now you're going to press this in the wetness. So it's going to leave the imprint in. Okay. Now it's going to dry. You're going to see the shadow more when it dry. I can already see it. And we're going to sponge it a little bit in the back. So while we wait for this to dry, it have to dry, we're going to sponge a little bit in the back on the top of this. We're going to be using, I got a dauber here. We're going to use um, gorgeous gray. Let me reach my dauber. I get them all here. So let me, no use to use this here. Uh, gorgeous grapes that we had, right? So let me gather my gorgeous grape. If I would be gorgeous grape, I would be right here. Yep. So I get the gorgeous grapes. And then we're going to do just the tip of this. Just like those cactus, you know, get that purple and red. Here we go. 
and then the tip here here we go and you know what we're going to just add a little bit of depth to this I'm using this is all olive and this was pure pizzazz I'm just tapping my so it's just give like a little roughness to it here we go here we go so now we got that let's do our little uh, oops lost one hair here my goodness i'm shitting just like the dog um that we're going to do the purple too on that no need because this is all olive already so we get a darker color there and we're just going to do just here and there not all of them just tap it a little bit here and there okay that's going to be ready to build we need to finish our pot first i'm going to have to use the heat tool because we're on the mission here Now, let me reach. I got terracotta here that I'm going to bring that in because I want to have a little bit darker around. I need some depth around this, right? Here we go. So now we got, don't you think the pot looked more realistic with just a little add-on of the crackle in it? And um, I love that it's really in then. Now I'm going to come back with this while it's dry. And I'm just going to add a little bit more dip in it. Here we go. Okay, now we can build that. Uh, we're not building a snowman. That's what I wanted to say. We're going to build a flower pot. So we're going to put dimensional at the bottom. So I'm going to put two. And then we're going to... I know my glue dot is almost empty, but it's not quite empty yet. So this is going to be... Um, you want to put the glue dot in the front. So you see your purple. This is very, very pretty with the gorgeous grape. Very much so. And then I'm going to put one right here, a little bit sideways. And then we're going to put the other one. That's why you want to put in the front because it's going to glue in the back of this. Because we're not building that on the card itself yet. We're building in the back of this. If we would build on the card, then you want in the back of this. Then I'm going to put a little bit higher here because I don't want them all the same length. Here we go. And then we're going to add those little doodads in the back there. So again, it's going to go in the front. And now you know why I'm putting that in the front. Put that higher there so they're higher. And then... So this one we're not putting uh, perfect. We're not putting. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Uh, ribbon, because that's going to be our element. The other one we didn't put the flower, but we get the ribbon for a little element on the card. Okay. No, that's scrappy paper. We need to take it right. We're going to remove this. Oh, this one. Couldn't feel it. I just 
turn it a little bit there see so and then we're going to put that right at the bottom here oh, I add a bit of glue there I see I see okay and where is okay and this I should have put the little one here and the big one on the other one where is that yeah you know what because the flower pot it's already big so um, I'm changing my mind so we're going to put the tanks right here and then let me I'm going to use a new one of that and we're going to put the bigger one on this one because it's less on this card and we're still going to sponge though Here we go. And put that right there. Now we're going to do the inside. So I'm done with balmy blue. I'm done with a uh, gorgeous grape. We're going to use old olive. Get tidy up here a little bit. Okay, I need a well, I just tossed that paper out. Here we go, another paper. Now let's take in this, remember we got this big set here. And, ooh, I just got an ID. Well, oh well, we're going to try that. My goodness. Don't you just love when you're working on something and then something else, something else come to mind? Well, I sure do. Okay. We're going to stamp that sideways. Need gorgeous grapes again. And just some tip of the gorgeous grapes there. Now we're going to off on it. We're going to smack that right here. Oh, oh, oh. We can see the tiny bit of purple there. Can you see that? I think that looked good. Oh, did I? Did I freeze? I hope I'm not froze. It looked like I'm froze. Here we go. It's back on. Okay. Now... If you want to do the same thing again, though, you're going to have to wipe your stamp because we get some purple. You don't want that on the green. Now I'm going to go back in here. And then we're going to go back. And this time I'm going to do this part here. Yeah, I froze for a bit, right? I don't know what's going on. I lost the screen completely up there, so I don't know what happened gonna put that right here Voila! I like it see is that cool so we got the two color I'm not coloring that inside uh, just leave it like that but we get the two color yeah I'm sorry I uh, what I was saying I don't know where I froze though but um, I was saying that you ink with the whole olive, you take the sponge with gorgeous grapes, and then boom, you get those lovely color there. See that? And here you get a little bit all mixed in that. So this is the two for one, my friend. So what do you think? I think it turned out lovely. I'm happy with what I did. Now, do you want to see the one that I did this afternoon? So let me share with you what I did this afternoon. So again, this was on Shimmer um, White Cardstock. Oh, I didn't freeze on your computer. Well, 
that's good. Maybe it's just froze where the weather it's super cold, right? Who knows? Facebook Live can be crazy, crazy. Okay, now let me bring this here. And, okay, this is what we've done tonight. The colors are all olive, balmy blue, gorgeous grapes. And let me bring it this way. I think you see it better. I think this was a winner. That pot is amazing. Now, I did, um, what did I do? I did Pretty Peacock. Uh, Mossy Meadow and Cherry Cobbler. Very light on the Cherry Cobbler that it look almost like Rococo Rose, but it is Cherry Cobbler. See? So this one I used the other, it, that it's all from the same dye. You are been on my mind and inside I just did the green, no color. I didn't think about that till tonight. And then here I put that uh, Pretty Peacock and Olive uh, ribbon and inside I did just in the green but see the difference between the colors with I mean with the purple that's yeah that add quite a bit to the inside and you just had to do a bit of sponging so so um, in mine I sponged the top with the cherry cobbler and also um I didn't put those little dots there. I did three of them, one in, um, two in olive and one in mossy middle. So that's the difference. So I'm going to have the winner of these two lovely cards here. I'm going to announce it on Monday. People asked me last week where I announced it. Right here on my Facebook, I put a, a post on Sunday and that's when I announce it. Now, talking about um, what's going on, too, what else going on, it's a celebration. So don't forget, with a $50 purchase, you get to choose a product. $100, you can choose two, or you can choose the one at the level of the $100. So uh, don't miss out. It's some cool stuff. So the bundle for the succulent, it's on page 39, by the way, in the occasion catalog. Uh, I put the number in the description of this here. So uh, next month, next month, next week, I plan to do, because um, Valentine is here and I didn't really do much. So I'm going to do something with the matchbox, the little, the quick and easy box with some candy in it. But note that my husband find me whatever he saw me coming in with some uh, grocery bag and he saw i had chocolate in there so is it still going to be some chocolate by next week we don't know we will find out next week right but i did hide some away so let's hope that we still have some chocolate and we can do a project um uh, with that so i plan to do a quick and easy um it's those matchbox so quick and easy oh shoot i forgot to show you something let's go back on the ride let me flip you down again so if you did join me on my um, walk through of the catalog i shared this this is those uh in the catalog it's with the dandy bundle the dragonfly bundle the laser let me find it right here. It is on page uh, 25, number three here, Dandy Laser Cut Paper. So when I saw this bundle, I said, oh my gosh, I can do that with, so this would be the same thing. You can use this one over and over and do your background, because who knows, and then when you're done, you can use it. But this was one in the pack, so I can use that over and over and use it that way so that's how i thought of doing this after i had done this in, in my walkthrough of the catalog so now you see how the brain is working here right 
one thing follow to another thing and so on so well thank you so much for joining me tonight and um, i will be back uh, next thursday and in between that i will be on youtube one's live at lunchtime try to remember what did i do this week at lunchtime oh if you miss it this is what i did i did the frame it's here here we go let's back up i did the frame with the seashell but it's see it's see-through a uh, frame so that's what i done this uh, week on a uh, youtube live at lunch so you can go on my uh youtube if you're not sure where to find me uh, at all those place just go at frenchystamps.com right at the top you get the links right there to find me and then if you subscribe especially the live video on facebook youtube you won't miss it because it that one sent a memo the regular video, YouTube don't send a memo anymore, but the live one they do. Okay, I am done talking. I'm bloop, chatter, chatter. Okay, have a lovely evening, my friend. Bye-bye for now.